So in this video, we're going to have a little look at creating a flower bed down this side. We're going to plant some shrubs along here and put a little bit of furniture in the garden as well. Now, when I'm creating a new material, I tend to go on Google, do an image search. First of all, um, I look I'm looked for a plan view or top down view of a flower bed. And I saved that and I tend to copy it into a program like Microsoft Publisher and then save it as an image from there. Because sometimes when you download it directly from the Internet, um, Revit seems to struggle to find it or the format might not be compatible, etc. So just saving it from Publisher just eliminates that problem. What I want to do, though, I want to split this surface. So I'm going to use the subregion command again. So on the massing and site tab, subregion, go to the site view, and I'm just going to draw around that by there. And big tick. Okay. Let's now go across to our 3D view. I will click on the Oh, the site plan. For some reason. It seems to be okay. New material. Let's rename that material to flower bed. We'll give it a little bit of color on here. Now the appearance, the image is what's important. So find my flower bed. There it is. Now we got to do the size of the flower bed. So if I click on the image itself, it brings up this editor by here. So what I want to do by here is scroll down until we've got the scale. Now the sample size, that's important to take note of. So the sample size that I did um, was probably about a meter wide. But it was not a square picture, so I'm going to change it to about two meters long. And let's just deselect de that so they're not no longer locking the aspect ratios. There we go. That looked a bit better. OK, so I'll say done. And OK. And now, look, that section is our flower bed, but it doesn't look great at the moment. So let's just have a little look at what this looks like as a realistic view. So down the bottom of the screen, change it to realistic. And just give it a few seconds to load in. There we go. So we can now see we've got our grass and our flower bed. Now, our grass... We've got to zoom in quite a long way. So I think, to be honest, I need to change the scale of my grass. That's something I didn't do previously. So I am going to go along to um, the Manage tab, click on Materials. And if I go to my grass, and again, click on that image, and scroll down to the scale. It's only 300, so what I'll probably do is change that one to a meter and say done. Click OK. And then we can see it's just changed the scaling of the grass and it just looks a bit nicer like that. OK, so that's just something to bear in mind when you're creating materials. You can change that scale and help avoid a small tile effect. 
um, particularly good if you're doing something like a pond and you're using water. You maybe we'll look at that in another video, but let's now just go back to consistent colors for time being. All right, so site plan. Let's go to the site tab and site component. Let's load family. Okay, into the folder. Now, there's a few things you can look out for. Um, furniture mostly is internal stuff, but you might be able to find something you would be happy to use outside. We also have planting, which we're going into now, and a site folder. Those tend to be quite useful. So I'm just going to have some little shrubs. And just put a couple of shrubs on this by there. OK, let's now do now as we click on each of these, um, notice here we've got where they are. Now, for some reason, they've come in at the foundation level and then 750 above the foundation. So what I'm going to do is actually change them all. Now, if I press control and hold down control and click on each one, I've multi-selected because they're all the same. Is We can change them all and go. So I'm going to change it to ground floor and then it's gone to minus 150, which is fine. So I'm happy with that. All right. Let's do another site component and load family again. And this time I'll go to the site folder. So we've got lots of different things. Um, we could have planters and so forth. Um, I'm not going to do that at the moment. I'm just thinking maybe a little bench. Click open. And I'll just put a little bench up against the house by the window by there. OK. And then we'll have a little look at that in our 3D view. OK. And now let's swap that again back to our realistic view. And we can see we've got those shrubs, which seem to be floating, which is not ideal. Don't really want them to be floating. The bench seems to be sat on the ground, but you do have to check these things. So again, I'm going to multi-select These. And obviously, minus 150 is not enough. I'll do minus 300 and apply. Right. And now they seem to be more on the ground, which is much better. So just giving the garden a little bit of variety by there. Maybe a little bollard or something would be good as well. So let's have a little look little timber posts that'd be quite nice so i'll just stick let's zoom in a bit stick one on each corner there and there and escape out of that okay this, I'm going to just take a quick measurement. Between these two posts, 3.6 meters. Um, I probably want to have a couple extra posts in there, if I'm being honest. So 
So we will just click on that and copy it. Click on the screen, point the direction you wish to copy. And I'll stick one roughly in the middle by there. Go back. And there we go. We have some posts now. So that really just creates a little bit of extra variety, installing a few components, changing the patterns a little bit, playing with the scales of the images can help. And that just gives us a bit of a front garden.